In this example, we're going to find the perimeter for each of the shapes that are given. The first one, all the sides are given and there are no units, so I can say that the perimeter is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, and that's going to give me 12. So that is the perimeter of this first object. The second object, sometimes we need to make assumptions when information is not written in the problem. So this side length is 12 feet. The one below it and parallel to it is also 12 feet. This side length is 8 feet, meaning this side length is also 8 feet. So when I find the perimeter, I'm going to add 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 8, and my units are going to be in feet. This gives me 20 plus 20 feet for a total perimeter of 40 